In this video, we are going to talk about acid gas simulation using Aspen Heist. Here, we will be given uh, this simulation the same way we are giving it uh, in the exam. You are not going to create this during the exam time. You will be given um, Heist simulation case and you are going to open it. After opening it, just give it some time to converge. Uh, after it is converged, you can now uh, work with it. Here you are familiar as a user with the cooler and the separator. This two are uh, this one is absorber or source of distillation, and this also a distillation. Okay, this is a heat exchanger. We have also a, here is a heat exchanger. This is a, a reboiler uh, with a steam. Okay, this one is a makeup. If we double click on it, we will have this is called makeup or search tank why it's important because if we are doing here a regeneration for this one is a regeneration or the stripping where we have the rich solvent and we are going to strip any acid gas and convert it to lean solvent in some cases there are a losses okay uh, uh, definitely all cases we have losses where you can't regenerate or strip 100 percent so you might have some losses to maintain the flow inside of the solvent the constant during the process you have this makeup this makeup is used to add back the solvent that is lost in the process to maintain a constant solvent flow rate and the concentration through the process okay so that's why makeup is important okay our case here is converged and all uh, solvent as a different in color here is because you have a higher range of temperature so we define the stream temperature but it doesn't matter okay here is not important um the case during the exam you are given this uh, case where you are using dea uh, this is a chemical solvent dea is, is diethanol amide okay and do you um clean this gas you have a feed gas or a sour gas and convert it to a sweet gas so if we open this one and we go to performance acid gas you will find out that your sweet gas concentration of h2s is 0.5 okay uh, this is ppm and the pipeline uh, specs is 4 ppm this is much less than what we need to uh, the pipeline and the concentration of uh, carbon dioxide is 1.7 which is less than 2% this is the pipeline specs so we are fine but here we are going to study what if we mix the DEA or the diethanol amine with another solvent like monoethanol amine? What will happen to the concentration? Okay, uh, the concentration of hydrogen dioxide, a uh, hyd um, hydrogen sulfide, and carbon dioxide in the sweet gas. Okay, so if we mix, is the concentration is going to decrease or increase? Uh, does it matter if we mix the chemical solvent or not? Okay. So at the beginning, the first thing we need to add MEA, the solvent that we are going to add. Okay, so we go to properties and from the component list, we are going to look for MEA amine. Okay, so after write MEA, you will have ME amine. We double click to add it to the list. Okay, so now we have a list of two solvents. The first two ones that we already are using MDEA amine. The second one is Me amine, and we are going to study what uh, what is the effect of Me amine uh, on the removal of hydrogen sulfide and also carbon dioxide. Okay, this is a component list. We are not going to change our uh, fluid pattern. It's still chemical solvent. So we go to the simulation. After clicking that you are want to go to the simulation, you will have this message. If you want to go to the environment or the simulation environment while holding, no, don't go to the simulation environment while holding because if you go while it's holding, no calculations will be done. Okay, so press no in this case and always press no. Then if we look down here, this is there are some calculations that is going on. Okay, so some of the equipment will be converged. Okay, but not everything. Okay, if we look here, we have this makeup. The makeup tank is not fully converged because if we open it, this is the only part that's not converged. You will find that now you have not only 
DEA but also MEA you don't know the concentration so at the beginning we are gonna assume that we don't have any MEA okay as if we, do, we didn't add it at all okay so after adding the concentration of zero we will have um, the, the makeup uh, converged okay we need to close here now all of our uh, flow sheet is converged okay now I need to ask some questions first if you are asking about the carbon dioxide mole percent or the hydrogen sulfide BPM composition how to find it I think we have mentioned this before but because it's important and always asked about it during the exam so to find the concentration of carbon dioxide or hydrogen sulfide inside the sweet gas we didn't open from here because if you open the sweet gas here and go to the composition you will find the composition of H2S in mole fraction and always in the exam you are asked about it as BPM because it's like the pipeline in um, spec to be calculated in BPM okay so how to find it you go to the absorber this one where the um, uh, absorption process took place okay after double click it should uh, we should have another uh, okay it's here we go to the performance and at the performance you go to acid gas this, that's where we get the concentration so you have a regenerator acid gas overhead lean amide and also rich amide okay for the regenerator we now we are talking about the acid gas as an overhead product so the concentration of um, the acid gas as overhead product is four times e with a power five okay this is the composition and for carbon dioxide is 35 okay what is the overhead product for acid gas if we look back here this is the overhead okay this one also carbon dioxide composition is 53 because this is the overhead of a sour gas okay for the amine you have to stream the lean and the rich this is the lean which is out and the rich which is in okay so this is also we would find carbon dioxide and the rich is 1.4 and the carbon dioxide composition is 2.7 e or 10 times negative 2 okay so it's uh, far less here okay this is um, the concentration whatever it's h2s in ppm h2s in ppm it's always here in the performance acid gas okay now we go to the environment Robert's environment okay at the property okay again we have here the fluid package as a fluid package we need here to double check because I didn't open it that we are go are working with acid gas for chemical solvent because here we are working with a mix not only DEA but also we add MEA this this is a mix okay here so this so that's why we are going to work with a chemical solvent and we check the component list and we add MEA okay and again after adding MEA we find out we have the makeup uh, that is not converged and we need to add a flow rate or um, we add here a concentration sorry this is a concentration of MEA uh, to be zero okay um, also because we are working with a chemical solvent there will be always a chemical reactions here we will have a section related to uh, the chemical reaction that is going to happen but you didn't in, uh, this is as a properties but you don't enter it it's generated by aspen heises so you have a three sets of reactions here six uh, one and this is set three okay and the equations or and the reactions especially the equilibrium reactions are done by Aspen Heises so don't worry about the reaction okay after that we go to again to our um, simulation environment to run the case study again the case study that we are going to work on is that we uh, have added MEA with different concentration and we want to study the effect of adding this uh, sort of amine 
um, on the removal of carbon dioxide O and H2. Okay, let me explain it more. In the original case during the exam, you will have a solvent which is MDEA. And for your information, MEDA is selective or a methyl diethanol amine is selective to HES. So it removes HTS, H2S better, but it is not that good with carbon dioxide. So in this case, we will add MEA or monoethanol amine. It is, it is selective to carbon dioxide. So, the mix of them, if we add them together, you will have a good removal of both carbon dioxide and the hydrogen sulfide. Okay, our case study will be study the concentration. We are going to use different concentration of MEA and DEA or MDEA, both the same. We are going to change the concentration from maybe 0 to 10% and the concentration from maybe 40% to 35%. Okay, after changing the concentration, we are going to check the concentration of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide and understand the effect of adding a new solvent. 